I want to welcome everybody to episode 42 of the Dealers Compressed podcast. This is a super special week because we are welcoming a lot of new members to this community. And let me explain. Last week, Gary Vaynerchuk shared on his uh, social media accounts on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter, he shared our Vayner Mentors experience. It's a program we've been part of. Actually, the content he shared is actually back from April, so it's like six, seven months ago. And we've been on this journey with uh, Gary and his team at Vayner Media, James Arsini, Maribel Lara, Mark Evans, D Rock, all these people have Sid, Sid, props to Sid. Oh my gosh brand manager, social media manager, brilliant guy. We've been on a journey with this team and this group trying to make our business better and sharpen and hone our skills. And so obviously Gary's got the social following. So when he posted the content, some of the content from one of our initial meetings, the subsequent result of that is a lot of people start paying attention like who the heck is this guy and why should I care? Well, the answer to that is usually they should care because Gary cares and if he cares enough to post it, that's how influencers work, if you were ever confused about that. And so it's been great to start connecting with new people and people kind of coming on to the fact of what we're about and what I'm about and uh, what I talk about. So this episode, we're going to talk about the generalities of what you can expect from this podcast, what you can expect from me, what I'm about. Even if you've listened to this podcast for a while, this is going to be an awesome refresher on some of the things that... Um, we can always be reminded of and also have a couple cool announcements coming as well. So I um, appreciate you listening, watching. And just so you know, or if you don't know, um, it's possible that you listen to this podcast and connect, but don't realize that I post a lot of other content on other platforms. So I'm really active on LinkedIn. I'm actually very active on LinkedIn. Um, so if you're in the professional community or in the business world, I talk a lot about business principles and kind of what my agency uh, helps people with, but also about like growing a business. This is my second startup. I grew a business for 15 years. It was recently acquired in automotive reconditioning. So kind of really a lot, a lot of just uh, thoughts and lessons that I've learned the hard way on the LinkedIn community. And some from a professional standpoint, Kind of Instagram, I'm at Paul the Daily, not Paul J. Daily, because somebody's got Paul J. Daily and I can't get it. It's a bummer because it's not even being used. So on Instagram is kind of the more personal side of my life. I do, uh, you know, do a lot of work in stories and things like that. And um, if so, if you want a little bit of a, a behind the scenes look at times or see what I'm up to real time, Instagram's the place for that. I also have a link to a family account. Uh, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, just a little... Uh, you know, peek behind uh, the family curtain. It's cool. I love my family. and We have a lot of fun on that account. Twitter is where I like to listen and, uh, you know, kind of contribute to some conversations. So I love being active there. And Facebook, I mean, what can you say? Facebook's kind of uh, the place where everything lives. So um, have all that stuff going on. So hope you connect with me there. It'll be linked up in the bio. But enough about that. Let's talk about the expectations of this content and the expectations from me and what I want to talk about, what I've been talking about, but also what I want to talk about in the future. And it really comes down to the center of what drives me. People drive me. Human beings, their connection to one another, um, a desire to help holistically, right? People in life and business and family and relationships and, you know, kind of this internal look at ourselves. Like, I want to help that go forward. There have been hundreds, probably thousands, mentors that don't even know they're mentoring me, you know, these social, digital people that we follow and read. There's just so many people that contribute to a person moving forward in their lives. And I want to be one of those people for you and for other people that don't know about the community yet. Obviously, I want to be faithful with what I've been given, my family specifically and first, right? That's going to be my legacy on the planet. But also right after that are the people that I have sown into, invested into. And, you know, I want some simple things in life. And one of those things are for when I die at some point, it could be tomorrow, it could be 50 years from now, whatever. I want people to say, my life was better and clearer and more focused because I knew him. So that's it. Um, so what you can expect from me, that's what drives me. And I want to and believe very much in the concept that I talk about called being the same person, something I've talked about for years. And really, it means that I'm the same person on this podcast that I am when I'm home. You know, my energy might be a little different from time to time, but my thoughts, 
my integrity, my beliefs, they're the same. When the camera goes off, it's the same thing. If I'm in a meeting with, you know, a member of our team, like my compassion and empathy and desire to see them grow is the same as it is in other areas of my life, right? There's no difference because when it starts to get different, number one, you become inauthentic, but also it becomes a lot more confusing to live a life as it should. So all about being the same person. I hope the same for you. I boil it down by something I talk about a lot and it's a big concept. It's a big term. And that term is clarity. And if you've listened for any amount of time or followed along for any amount of time, you've seen that word. About a year ago, a little over a year ago, the word and having that word be the focus of what I'm about originated in Claude Silver's office. And that woman has some good insight and actually helped me a little, understand a little bit about um, myself and get some clarity, which was kind of unexpected. Uh, but the word clarity came up quite a bit. So um, from that aspect, I'm gonna call this a win. Uh, Claude Silver is has a really unique position. It's the chief heart officer of Vayner Media. I just had the the opportunity and the privilege really to just grab a few minutes of her time. So she really is steers the heart and soul of the Vayner Media team. She's like right at the top. She kind of sets the tone. Gary says it's she's somebody that really kind of enables him to multiply himself. And so I had this meeting. I didn't know what to expect, but here we are in her office. We ended up talking for like an hour because we really connected on a lot of things. And I guess I, I shouldn't be surprised because she just did what she does. And she said, so tell me, uh, wh what exactly do you do and why do you want to do it? And so we're talking through and I'm telling her all this. And she goes, I don't know if you heard yourself say this, but you said that you really enjoy when people get clarity on what they're trying to communicate. That kind of kicked off this whole thought process of clarity. Ever since then, I've never gotten it out of my mind. Ever since then, I started making reminders and symbols that remind me that this principle is important to me. And I think it's important to everybody. I have never met a person, and I don't think I'll ever meet a person that says at some point, I wish I had less clarity. I just don't think that's going to happen because I don't think there's a human being that wishes things were foggier wishes that things were less clear. And I know I'm still talking in this 30,000 foot view of like, okay, clarity is a big word. So um, let me kind of bring it down from 30,000 feet a little bit. And it is a big term and it's a big principle and it's kind of universal, but like, let's talk about business. One of the ways that you kind of can uh, promote clarity and, and have clarity is by seeding time, energy, and attention into your brand. And I talk about this a lot, we'll continue to, I have a branding agency, we create material, we help clarify the messaging. Brand is not a logo, it's not a color scheme, it's not an ad campaign. Brand is the feeling that people get when they affiliate with you, when they hear, see, experience your brand. And it's also not just customers, but also your team. And that's your brand. Your team buys into your brand or they kind of push off of your brand. Um, another area is personal clarity. Concepts like you reap what you sow, right? It's a very simple, simple, simple concept that from a personal development side, we tend to not want to believe that we did something to get this result. And so we push off of that. And sometimes it just comes the loving reminder of saying, hey, look, if you're in this position in life, the chances are that you did something, you put some kind of seed in the ground that this is what came up. You know, one of the pieces I've made, I said, you know, like when you plant corn in the ground, you shouldn't be surprised when corn grows up. And a lot of times I think we see these things growing in our life and we're like, well, how did that get there? You reap what you sow. It kind of goes out to this holistic level of clarity again. So like we kind of go micro parenting, romantic relationships, career development, and being a manager, being a good number two, being a good CEO, being a good entrepreneur when you're by yourself, a solopreneur. But all of these things, the concept of clarity, most of life can be boiled down into these simple principles that are true across the board. Simple, but not easy. How many things in life are just really simple, but not easy? It's not a big mystery, right? It's not a big complexity as much as we want to make it, right? If you diet and you work out three times a week, it's not a mystery what to do there either. You'll be in better shape. It's very simple, right? What do I do? Well, wake up every morning at six, wake up every morning, whatever, and go work out. Very simple not easy. Persistence. Sw I, I call it swinging the axe. And like I use the example of, you know, I was chopping down a tree with an axe. True story. I was chopping and chopping and chopping away. 
And man, you start to, you cut into that trunk and you realize like, man, I'm like two thirds of the way through this and the tree hasn't budged. But it doesn't mean that I haven't made progress, right? Because I can see, I can visibly see the progress. Like the tree is two thirds gone in the wedge in the middle, right? And then sometimes it just takes those last two or three strokes before you hear that big crack and the tree falls. It's a journey. It's a path. So like even the process of understanding where you are in that makes us dip, makes a difference. It all ties back to clarity because when you have the right perspective, everything else can look different. There's a concept called the fog of war, the confusion that happens when you're in war, right? There's very little that's 100% certain. Actually, there's probably nothing that's 100% certain. So you're always making decisions and you're making moves based on information that you're not quite sure is correct. And then when you're in the middle of the battle, you get turned around, you get disoriented, you don't know where your supplies are, you don't know which way you're facing on the map, and you do things in high stress environments that don't make sense when you pull out of the high stress environments. It's called the fog of war. And I was thinking about that principle and realizing that like, kind of feel like that a lot in life, the fog of life. Life can be very demanding and bring a lot of fog in the sense that things happen. Emotional things happen, family things happen, business things happens, the market changes, a lot of stuff. And consistently we're throwing these different variables that we now have to adapt. Clarity is the opposite of fog. Like clarity is the truth. Having a clear perspective going into the fog of life, you're much more prepared to end up on the other side of it in line with where you started out. That is really what to expect on the podcast. You know, I come from the automotive background. I built a, uh, an automotive business for 15 years. And so I have some really specific insight into the automotive world, but I also get to work with a lot of business clients and it just I'm just a student of business in general. So um, if you're in the automotive industry, you'll probably find some specific insight and advice here that you probably won't hear. Or at least the very least, you're going to find things like branding and marketing talked about from a different angle than what the typical automotive advice would be. So welcome again to the new members of the community. I hope you find a home here, whether that's a few minutes a week, whether that's for the whole podcast, whether that's on multiple platforms. I hope you find home and encouragement. And my only hope is that you leave from this content saying like, you know what? Things are a little bit clearer for me than before I watched it. That's all I can ask. And that's how I know that I'm accomplishing my mission. One final thing we announced at the end of last week that we are going to have have our first event. Clarity Con 2019 is coming. I don't know exactly what that's going to look like yet as far as the programming or the timer. Actually, we haven't even picked a city yet. I guess the initial thought is maybe we'd have it in Syracuse, but I don't know. I'm thinking maybe Philly's a good option. I do talk about Philly every once in a while. And if you haven't been here, you'll hear it. You'll see. Um, I grew up in Philly, so it's close to my heart. Clarity Con 2019 officially been announced. We've actually had some people reach out interested in helping out, sponsoring the event. So it's already rolling. So if you want to know, like be on the first to know list of ClarityCon as details are released, I'm probably going to ask a lot of questions like, hey, what kind of content do you find valuable? So if you want to be part of the beta and part of like the, the figuring out of the event and programming it, it's a great opportunity to do that. You can go to pursueclarity.com and we'll link that up below, pursueclarity.com. Just type in your email. I promise, promise, promise we will not spam it, sell it, any of that other garbage stuff that people do with email addresses to disrespect your privacy. But simply speaking, you're just going to be the first to know as we have updates. And that's really it. All the new people of the community, welcome. I hope you find a home here at the Dealers Compressed Podcast. I hope you find a home following the content. And I hope that we all find a home as a community of people pursuing clarity in our lives to just be better, do better, serve the ones around us. Thank you, 42. See you soon. Oh, it was way too long. Patrick's gonna yell at me. That's that smoke in the hood. That smoke in the hood. The value of doubt is to keep you open to God's revelation.